Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific, and today we're going to talk to you about an Olympus BX51 fluorescent microscope. So this one's going out to um, actually a colleague or a, a customer that reached out to us about the video, and she loved the videos, and uh, she bought a couple of scopes, so she's buying this one. So we're going to talk about it and help her um, go through the scope. So three millimeter Allen wrench. This is like the tool that does everything on these BX scopes. So right underneath here is how you take the head off and put it on. Whenever it shows up, it is gonna be fully disassembled. The head comes off. You got two 10X eyepieces right here. We'll put some rubber eye guards on these things, make them really nice. This diopter tube, you want that zero to line up with that white dot and then bring it into, um, bring your specimen into focus. And if you need to, a little extra correction, because you have a correction in your eye, you can rotate that. So we'll set this to the side and we'll keep on going down. If you need to change the fluorescent filter cubes out, put that three millimeter Allen wrench that I said does everything. You can put it in here and then we'll put a fluorescent, the fluorescent filters in there. So to put a fluorescent filter, you would loosen this screw, slide it in. Once it's slid in, tighten it up. We have a whole video on how to do that. We can uh, send to you for help. You have a shutter which blocks the light. So you have the shutter open, shutter closed right there. We're going to show you how to take this on and off too. But uh, same way as all the other BX's scopes, you have a uh, five place nose piece on here with fluoride optics. You're going to lower the stage to take the objectives off and put them back on. We'll leave them off for the video. You're going to take the stage off. You got a nice right-handed coaxial control stage, slide holder. You can move the stage just like that. Looks good. We have the condenser and the sub-stage condenser assembly. You lower the condenser, and remove the condenser. This bracket's going to be foamed underneath it whenever you get it. So remove that foam and then uh, you'll be able to focus the microscope accordingly. You have a field diaphragm. This light right here, or the rheostat, controls the light. You have these different neutral density filters. So these filters go in and out, and they'll cut the light. So this is a 12 volt, 100 watt halogen power supply. It can be very bright. So sometimes when they want, when they're doing bright field work and they want a little extra contrast, they'll put these neutral density filters in here. We're going to show you how to change the bulb on this scope too. Um, the lamp house, a lot of people don't know how to get it off. You put this, the wrench right here and back it to the left, turn it to the left counterclockwise. Right here, Michael show that. It's going to be plugged in like that. Loop, take the plug, rotate it and pull it straight out. Once that's done, the lamp house comes right off, but you have to loosen this flint or loosen this screw. That screw goes through the scope and tightens down here on this flange. So that has to be done to get the screw out. Change the bulb. There's a little screw right there. Same wrench that does everything. Back that screw off. Lift straight up. There's your bulb. That's your halogen bulb. If it goes out, you can change it. So this is a 12 volt, 100 watt Osram. You would just push this down and pull that out. Put the new bulb in. You never want to touch the bulb. I don't have a chem wipe or a glove on right now, so I'm just showing you the example. But you push these two prongs down and then you take the bulb out. We have another video. We have a lot of videos, but that one, we have a full tutorial on how to change the bulb and which bulbs to buy and which bulbs work. So once you get it, you put the thing back together. Tighten that screw down, and then you put the lamp house back in the back of the scope. Once it's back, make sure it's pushed in. Tighten down the screw here. And then once this, that's all done, plug it back in. All right, so I kind of talked about the scope. We've got a lot of videos on this. What we don't have is a lot of videos on this. So we have a 12 volt, 100 watt mercury power supply right here. This power supply um, has a collector lens right here. So you can rotate that and bring the, the 
filaments of the bulb, you can bring them in and take this collector lens and s spread the field of view or the light to illuminate the light properly. So these bulbs do have to be aligned. They're very tricky to align. We'll put some information on how to do so in the description of this video. But um, to take the lamp pulse off and on, you got these two screws on each side. Just loosen those up and that comes right off. If you need to change the bulb in this mercury lamp house, always make sure the mercury lamp house is unplugged, it's been off and cooled. This one has been running for a while, so it is a still a little bit warm, but we're gonna show you how to uh, take it apart right here, Mike, show. Same way as we did that other lamp house. You're gonna screw this off, screw this back. These uh, screws, Allen screws don't fall out. You lift it up, there's your mercury bulb. So you would tighten or loosen these two screws with it cooled, put the new bulb in, press it together, tighten each one back, and then put the bulb back in. We'll do a whole video on how to align that thing, but we just wanna show you how to get to it. If you had any questions, you would use these two screws to align the bulb. You can also, I don't know if you can see, but can you see that, Michael? Can't really, see. yeah, you can barely see it, but there's these little pyramid looking things. And what you wanna do is bring them where they're almost on top of each other and then slightly offset them from one another. One's the real image and one's the mirror image. I don't know, can you, yeah, you can kinda see it right there. Yeah, so um, that'll give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, another thing, when you cut this power supply on, you wanna let it run for about 15 minutes so it's fully warm and then you'll have your brightest your brightest uh, light at that time. You always let it burn for at least 15 minutes. There's directions on the top on how to do so. 15 minutes after ignition, wait three minutes before restarting. So whenever it's off or when you get done using it, turn it off, let it sit for a while if you need to go to lunch or something like that. If you need to go to the restroom and the light's on and you wanna leave it on, don't wanna restart it, use the shutter. That's what it's there for. So um, that's basically it on this scope. I know we went through it pretty quick, but uh, it'll help you take it apart and put it back together. There is one last thing that I want to show you. So um, let me grab a let me grab an Allen set and I'll show you how to do this. A lot of times on these scopes, you'll need a four millimeter Allen wrench for this. So you, the magic tool does not work for this procedure or thing. But there'll be show right here, Mike. There's little white caps, I've popped them out, that cover these screw holes. These are four millimeter Allen holes or Allen screws within these holes. And the reason this is important is a lot of times when we ship this, to make sure it gets there safely, we'll take this off. Um, sometimes, it, depending on where it's going, if it's going overseas, we always take it off. If it's going domestically, sometimes we'll leave it on. It depends on the box, where it's going, and a couple other factors. But uh, we're gonna show you how to take it off and put it back on today. We have another short video on how to do this, but if you ever wanna upgrade your uh, scope to fluorescence and you need to add one of these, it'll be helpful to know. So you take this four millimeter, four millimeter Allen wrench, back these screws off. You want two hands on the illuminator. Mike, show how I'm holding it. I would definitely recommend taking the head off and the nose piece off before you do this. This illuminator, the nose piece is connected to the illuminator, so less weight and less things to get damaged if you do drop it. So we're gonna loosen all these screws. Make sure it's, make sure, I think I needed one more little turn right there. I'm still, I got one thread left on them. I'm gonna make sure I get them all off. All right, so they're all off. All right, what's really important about this is you have this little notch right here. See how it's kind of like a slant? There's this little triangle here. So when you put this illuminator on, you wanna push, slide it on, 
make sure everything's level. And before you start tightening, you wanna push back and to the left. So what I like to do is get two hands on it. I kind of push my chest into it. And then it's like tightening a tire whenever you change a tire, if you've ever done that before. Just snug up each screw. Don't tighten one down tighter than the other and get them all started while pushing back into the left and then tighten them down. And I tighten them in an X form. So I did that one, I'll do this one. And I'll do this one. And I'll do this one. And if you really wanna get fancy, you can put a collimator on there, but that's why Olympus put that little triangle there. So it's a preset. So there's really, it's, it's about as close as it's gonna get whenever you push it back into the left. They did a really great job designing these scopes. But um, that'll show you a couple tricks with this BX51. And uh, the same principles line up with the BX41 when you add the fluorescent illuminator to that. Even the newer models like the 53 and the 43, it's the same principles. So if you have any questions about this scope or any, any scope that we sell here or service, you can email us at info at mondaymicroscope.com. That's Monday with a U. You can give us a call at 919-775-5596. If you want to purchase this scope or purchase any other parts or pieces for your microscope, you can find them at microscopemarketplace.com. And if this video brought you value, please like and subscribe. Thank you.